General Hospital, General Hospital. This is Medic 5 currently in down to your facility ETA of about 10 minutes. Three, two, one. 10 for Let's start running the cut. So in this class, we're doing real life scenarios. When it comes to EMT, fire, rescue, anything of that nature, that's what we're working on. And my name is Ben Hansen. I'm the instructor here at KACC for the fire uh, EMT program. And today we're actually going to be talking about the EMT program. So this program is all about fire and EMS, emergency medical services. In Illinois, as a firefighter, you're also either an EMT or a paramedic. I am a paramedic. This is a two-year program. They're gonna be learning hands-on how to become an EMT. Right now, currently, we're teaching EMT B, which is the second level of EMS. And what it is is identifying life threats, get control of the situation, take a good look at the patient, intervening on behalf of the patient for those life threats, and then getting the patient to the hospital as quickly as possible. They can expect to learn like what they're doing behind me here, which is uh, packaging a patient and patient assessment. And then later on, if you look even further behind me, we've got the fire truck, we've got all the fire equipment. We'll be doing fire science the following year. I wanted to join this program mostly because ever since I was really little, I enjoyed helping people and the students in this class are very friendly. One of the things I really appreciate about this program is I have the opportunity to become certified by the time I graduate high school and make a name for myself in some of the local fire departments. It really makes you feel more comfortable in knowing what you are getting into for your career. There is a lack of EMTs and firefighters. And if you come to a program like this, students can take the National Registry exam. They'll be eligible to be licensed when they turn 18 and start working as an EMT right out of high school. One of my favorite things I've done in the class is learning blood pressures. Uh, it's really like interesting to see how like the human body works. Uh, here in the class we we usually assess patients and we have like real life scenarios on injured patients and like how to move them out of cars. For example, we have scenarios that we do and they're based on the previous lesson or the lesson that we're currently in. And from that point, we can critique, change, fix any problems we might have, and we can do it in a safe environment where nobody's getting hurt. For me, my biggest thing was really, I was scared to make that jump into just joining a fire program. I wanted to know a little bit about it first and I really didn't know where to start, but coming here I know what I'm going into and having an instructor, I can really talk to him one-on-one -on -one knowing like what steps I need to take. I was a cadet when I was 16 years old. My father was a firefighter, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, it goes down the line. I knew what I wanted to do. Not everybody has that situation at home. Not everybody can hang out in a firehouse, meet the guys, learn things just by sitting there and watching the guys do their training. I had that benefit and I believe people that come to this program will also have that benefit. People should join this class because it's just a, it's a really good learning experience for everybody. Like even if you don't want to be a paramedic or EMT, you could learn a lot of useful stuff like to use. There are a lot of people that would make really good firefighters, really good EMTs, really good paramedics somewhere down the road. Sometimes you don't know it. And when you get a situation like this where you have an opportunity to find out, take it.